Jude says, behind every good man is a good woman, not just a woman. And when it comes to Malcolm Earl Bishard, he had a good woman. She's actually here, decked out in a federation colors and all. As we look at the intergenerational 40 years of independence journey, Ms. Mrs. Ibn Bishad is with me. Good morning to you, Mrs. Bishad. Good morning, Curtis. Now, talk to us about that good man, the love of your life. He was indeed the love of your life. I see you still blushing a lot. <laughs> yes, he was. Uh, Malcolm was the type of person that loved people. He just loved people. And because of his love for the people, for his country, that's why I think he went beyond to make me this someday. Let's take tourism, for instance. When he started, when he took over tourism in 1992, that's when he became a minister of tourism, he revamped the all the tourism that was there. And that's how it becomes um, the tourism authority that we, have now. That, that we have now. And in that, well, yes, um, the Four Seasons were there, Nesbitt Plantation were there, all the rock were there, other good hotels were there. But let's take the Four Seasons, for instance. Yes, it was very nice for Dr. Daniel to be in Four Seasons, and it really bring something nice to me this. But it was only carrying 198 rooms. So therefore, when Malcolm took over, they wanted to build villas. So of course, he spearheaded that and allowed them to build villas, which brought about more rooms. But the catch in that was, negligence were the contractors. Mm -hmm. And that was the key. You couldn't bring in nobody else to build. So I read Santa Lescott and all of that. And because of that, the economy will boom because being the visions, building these villas, the money stays, stays the in within the islands. So Malcolm was making sure that the locals progressed and they got a piece of the action. Of course. Then um, tourism began to boom and the taxi men, for instance, you could testify to this because I know you were once a taxi man. Not once, you know. You still. Still am. Right. And what he did, he spearheaded the um, concession. He tried to fight for you have to get the concession. Because of one of the reasons were so that you have to have nice vehicles to take the, the tourists okay. around. And then he started fighting with the different sites like Eden Brown, New River, Heritage, Heritage Village. Village, all these things. Because the truth and the fact, he wanted to find places, not just in town, but to take the tourists out of town and so that they could see some of the history of Nevis. Mm -hmm. Then um, he started out with the airport, started fighting out with the airport. Because remember, despite the fact that we had tourists coming in, for season had their batch and everything, we didn't have proper airlift. Because then we had Caribbean aviation coming from Antigua, um, Liat coming from Antigua, or Vinia coming from St. Martin. But then that was no help because the money was like, like let's take for instance, American Eagle at that time was going landing in circuits. So that's where the yeah, tourists, sure. exactly. So then he fought, he tried and borrowed money and everything to get the airport. On top. And after the airport came through, then we fought to get American Eagle. So remember at one time we had American Eagle, we had Puerto Rico. going to Puerto Rico and bringing the guests them straight to Nevis. We also had Liat, we had Winnie, I mean, tourism was buzzing. And the taxi men was smiling. Okay? okay. Then, I mean, Manco was the type that 
He did one and everything. Because take for instance sports. They built the um Elliot Aris Elliot was the one that built the pavilion in the park. But it was his ministry that paid to put the thing. Then he did all these um he was the one that started the affordable houses. Started for us at hard times, then he started at then he went at Bart, then he went um uh, Eden Brown, then he went Brooklyn, Newcastle, I mean all these different places to to allow Nevis people to get a piece of the land. You know? Along with that, he did the acquisition for the Pinesa, which he acquired three hundred acres for government. That is why you find that we were able to, to get the path down there because he fought two and nails in order. He said, Nevis people must have a beach rock. So therefore, in anything, we going to get a beach rock. And thanks be to God, we did. Now, during all that time, because we could see how we helped in the development of Nevis. Yes. And he would have worked really hard. Did his wife at any time say, well, How come slow up? How come you're doing too much? How come you just rest and relax? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sometimes I would tell him, Well, let's take a trip to Miami. But by when we get to Miami, three days after, oh, you want to get work to do in Nevis. You know, sometimes I say, Boy, you work on the field. You know, you got to spend and some time relax. to relax. But such as the man, he just had people in front of him. You know, he just loved people. He just wanted me, these people, to enjoy life and whatnot. Going back to the airport, remember he had to move all those people yeah. in order to do the extension of the runway. So then he gave them lovely houses at the end of Carly Place, going to the hills. Because you, they built houses of their choice, even little houses that was bored, he made them into yeah, concrete. So just because he wanted the people to be happy, because remember now, you're moving people from their own environment. So therefore, you have to make them time. happy. Then he brought in Temple. I don't know if you all remember. Yes. Temple, Temple did the first launch at Nevis over at Newcastle. Mm -hmm. And it was very good. And I think he thought, well, Bringing Tempo would have done a lot to the island. Yes, it did. He was looking for Tempo to probably carry on, but I don't know what's the problem. But at least what Tempo did is who didn't know Nevis? New Nevis because of the launching of Tempo. Okay, look into the camera now. It's Independence 40 coming up. I wanted to wish the wonderful people of Nevis on behalf of Malcolm Bishad, I almost said Sir Malcolm Bishad, on behalf of Malcolm Earl Bishad and the entire family, mm -hmm. here's your chance to wish the entire Nevis population, say this Nevis on a whole, mm -hmm. happy yeah. independence. Well, happy independence to the people of Nevis and St. Kitts. God's blessings. Hope we could have the next 40 and 40 and 40 <laughs> and hope that one day, not only me, but maybe the younger generation will come forward and try to emulate Malcolm and try to make Nevis a better place. No, you won't believe this. This lady said she was camera shy. Was of course she was camera shy. Open up. Thank you.